What a stoat, also known as short-tailed weasels or ermines, make decent pets? These tiny, elongated, bouncy carnivores are currently making rounds in social media due to what appears to be an endearing personality. They kind of look like pet ferrets or even little otters. Despite their size, they have a domineering presence as they zip and bound playfully. Can you own a pet stoat? Let's take a look at why these little creatures are so hard to find in captivity. Mastella erminia is the scientific classification of the stoat. They are members of the family Mustelidae, along with ferrets, otters, badgers, and mink. Also like minks, these tiny little animals can actually swim and even climb trees. They are very similar in appearance to the least weasel, which has the scientific name Mustela nivalis, but surprisingly, they are very different from them. Stoats occur in the temperate regions of Eurasia, North America, and they have even been introduced to New Zealand, where they have unfortunately become invasive and are regularly called to protect native birds. They are voracious, true carnivores that consume a variety of animal prey depending on their location and season, including small rodents, birds, eggs, and even prey much larger than themselves, like rabbits. In fact, they were introduced to New Zealand to control rabbits, but this was obviously a mistake. These prolific breeders are considered to be the worst invasive species of that country, but despite their breeding success in the wild, they are not so easy to breed in captivity. Here's where stoats differ from other mustelids. Stoats are the only mustelid species that undergo a reproductive process called embryonic diapause. This means that after mating, the stoat develops a fertilized embryo that develops into a fluid-filled ball called a blastocyst, which stops growing and remains in the uterus for eight to nine months. The embryo resumes growing in August after it is successfully implanted. Even more shockingly strange, stoats can become pregnant as early as 17 days old when they are blind and helpless and eventually successfully give birth. So why are stoats so hard to breed in captivity? Stoats have demanding care in captivity and when their needs are not met, they can become stressed. Chronic stress in stoats resulting from a lack of adaptation to captivity, poor nutrition, and other issues may result in the failure of the blastocyst to implant. Therefore, in the past, when breeding attempts were made with stoats that were captured even when they were pregnant, the animals did not give birth in captive conditions. There have been a limited number of successes, however. Some research facilities discovered that stoats have a preference for live or pre-killed prey, which led to more live births. Stoats that were captured in the wild had to adapt to captivity over a number of weeks and be provided with enough space and enrichment to have improved breeding success as well. As is the case with many animals, Stoats that were captive born were better breeders in captivity. Therefore, those who wish to propagate stoats would need to surpass the hurdle of getting the wild caught animals to produce babies. Is there any interest for breeders to start captive breeding stoats? Unlike mink and red foxes, which are popular animals in the fur trade, stoats are not commercially produced in North America. This is due to how difficult it is to raise the animals in comparison to the favored mink, despite the gorgeous white fur stoats develop in the wintertime, which was desirable in the production of stoles, although this demand has decreased in recent years. Stoats are not even in much demand from zoos, as these hyper animals often hide when displayed during the day and are challenging to keep stimulated when they do awake later. Breeding success with stoats even in zoos is limited, and therefore, interest in keeping this non-endangered species is minimal.
Furthermore, stoats are native to the United States and Europe, so they would only be legal in a limited number of states due to the laws that protect wildlife. What if you were to keep a stoat as a pet? What kind of care would it require? Stoats are tiny and need to be kept in an escape-proof enclosure that they cannot squeeze out of. A large aquarium, such as what is used for pet mice, could be one option, and several research facilities and zoos have used large enclosures that are 48 inches and larger. These energetic animals will need as much space as you can provide, and novel enrichment would be imperative. They also should not be housed with other stoats, as they are naturally solitary, and captive stoats had even killed their cage mates. Stoats are likely not hands-on pets like ferrets, and would be better for observation. They have a formidable prey drive, and if they are wild caught, would probably have a preference for live or freshly killed prey. Stoats are more comparable to mink than ferrets when it comes to their care. They are obviously not pets for the casual pet owner, and their challenging care is likely why there isn't a lot of interest in breeding them as pets. Stoats are just one example of a species where reproductive success may be indicative that they have an adequate level of welfare. So if captive bred stoats are ever offered by someone as pets in the future, you can deduce that the person who raised them is doing something right.